va descendo e va bem. Os Cora. The twins. Uncle, Uncle, uh, Uncle Lauren, Cora. They always had a dog. There's the twins. Look at them. Aren't they adorable? Cora. Um, could you tell me who you recognize? It's useless for me. Well, you see, that's, that's me. You. And you saw Zadie with the, uh, with the gasoline going into the motor, didn't you? Yeah, but there were a whole slew of other people. Like, who's that? Oh, who's no. that guy? Oh, no. Who's that Nathan Zay Burko. Nathan Burko. No. That's his father, Mr. Burko, on the left. And who are all these people? No clue. No clue. That's Uncle Howie. Fishing in the Eel, Eel River. Here's Zadie. Atlantic City, 1948. Zadie. Howie. It's amazing how much Gabe looks like him. Reed. You find Gabe looks like Uncle Howie? Oh my god, yes. Yeah, he does. Gabe looks just like Uncle Howie. Which is quite that's, ironic. That's, yeah. and weird. Atlantic City for health. <laughs> and pleasure. And pleasure. <laughs> Traymor Hotel, Atlantic City. Marlborough Blenheim. You can't get more British naming a hotel than the Marlborough Blenheim Hotel. Oh. There's a nice fountain, darling. Look at that fountain, eh? Yeah. This is the Shelburne Hotel with the lovely... That's a nice spot. Yeah. Shelburne Colony. You can tell when Zadie was wanting to grab everything he could into with a little bit of footage. So he's working two jobs. Who? Um, uh, Alex, because he doesn't make enough. I yeah. should have asked. That's how we. Alex. Alex Grucic Gray. Oh, was that him on the phone? Yeah. He just called to say hello? Yeah. He's such a mensch. 
So what's his other job? I didn't ask him, but he says I have to work two jobs because I have to take a cut in salary, but I'm very happy that I'm doing that very happy people are nice. What is that? What is that? What is that Uncle Howie's birthday or it something? It must be. It must be. And what is the who are these people? I can't recognize them. We have to have it on. No one who's missing is Ralph Marsh. I thought you were good friends with her. No, Tony was not. Tony, no. Mrs. Marsh and Grandma Weber were very close friends, but Tony really had not much use for Ralph Marsh. He was a, really a burnished and a burnish. That's it. Those are amazing shots. Look, look how she's dressed. I know, to ride a Your bicycle. Your mother is riding a bicycle with a dress. I know, I'm not sure, it's bicycle regulations. Do not wear a dress. <laughs> no beginners allowed. Is that Howard? Yeah, There's that's me. That's Kate. This is classic, the end of here. You don't see Gabe in there? I just oh see God. Howie because I remember Howie looking like that. This is New York. Even, I mean, Rosalie was like, what is Gabe doing? Look, that is just totally yeah. Gabe. Yeah. Rosalie is like, what is my son doing 30 years before he was born? <laughs> is that what Rosalie Actually, said? it's more like 60 years before he was uh, born. Yeah, yeah. Is that what Rosalie said? She said something like that. Ah! You have to stop it quick so that it doesn't destroy more of the uh, Seder night 1948 this is a good one because Zadie when did Rosalie see this my love? two weekends ago oh yeah okay Okay, shout out people now. Okay, Bob Hanale is sitting to the right. Mom, watch your hands. Yeah. That's Uncle, Uncle Max, Jack. Uncle Jack. Uncle Jack, Uncle, Uncle, Jack, Uncle, Uncle, Uncle Mo. Uncle. And there's, and there's Bob Hanale there with the glasses. Bob Hanale. Hanale was Zadie's mother? Yes. When did she die? Um. Before we were married. 49. April 49. And this is your date and, and name you that can't was, remember. That was my crush when I was 15. And his Mervyn name? Mervyn Rosenzweig. And where is Mervyn Rosenzweig? He, he um, worked in CBC. We should look him up. We could Google him because he definitely had... I mean, his name was in the credits, you know, like right. he had a profile with CBC. That was my 15th birthday 